What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Starfield build guide. Today we're going to be snapping together a Halo Scorpion style starship. So let me just break this down and we'll be right back to start the build. All right, before you begin this build, you're going to want to pick up your specialty parts from, your, from the vendors. Over at Teo Astroneering, uh, we're going to be using the Shipbed 200 Landing Bay. And then from Hope Tech or Hope Town, New Homestead, New Homestead, you're going to want to grab the Nova Galactic NG20 landing gears in the wide format. We're going to be using six of these, but you're going to want to buy at least seven because we're going to be doing drop down, drop down glitch to get these into, to get three on top of three. So you will need extras. So buy at least seven of those. If you want to make it quick, just buy nine. Next, we are going to be using a lot of different Habs on this build, which is pretty cool because you don't often get to use every single style Hab in a build. This one uses all of them. We're using a Deimos Cargo Hall 3x3. We're using a Deimos Cargo Hall 3x2. We're also using the Mess Hall 3x2 from Deimos. We're using the Battle Stations 2x2 from Deimos. We're using the Brig 2x2 from Deimos. Over from Stroud Eklund, we're using the Living Quarters 2x2. And also, we're using the Computer Core 2x2. So that's like all the 2x2s, all the 3x2s, and the 3x3 have. That's pretty cool. You don't get to use that too often in a build. Everything else is going to be common parts available at your landing pad with Ship Builder. We are going to be using the uh, Cabo Bridge on this one. And we're just going to be using some Supernova 220 engines on this build. So nothing special besides the Habs, the landing gear, and your bay. Everything else will just be kind of normal parts. So once you got all those specialty parts, make your way over to your outpost landing pad with Ship Builder. And you're going to start off by placing down your Deimos Cargo Hall 3x3. To the rear of that, go ahead and drop in a Deimos All-in-One Berth 3x1. And then on the opposite end, place down a Deimos Engineering Bay A 3x1. In the middle here, you could drop in three of your Nova Galactic NG-20 landing gear. And now what we're going to do is bring ourselves in a Deimos Hole A from our Structural tab. And we're going to do our basic duplications. So you could grab all three of these in the top Deimos Hole and duplicate them up. Now, if you only bought six... You're not going to be able to duplicate these down because you can't add another duplicate if you only have six. They're all already on the grid. So if you bought seven, you're going to duplicate these down one by one. So grab one, grab the bottom Deimos hole and duplicate it down. Now there's seven on the map, so you would delete one and then do this one and delete. If you bought nine, you could just select all three top ones and duplicate them all down at the same time. There we go. Now we got six landing gear all right here. That's all the landing gear this thing needs to support itself. In the middle of your 3x3 three three cargo, go ahead and drop down your shipbed 200 landing bay and uh, make sure that the entrance is facing the four. And then slap down a Deimos belly four on both sides of that. We'll get to weapons later. Okay, next, bring in your cargo hall 3x2s. So I'm going to place the mess hall or the cargo hall onto my port side. And now how we have this is we have one 
exposed spot right here, and two of them are connected. Okay? Then grab your Deimos mess hall and attach that to the other side. Then you're going to want to bring in a Deimos belly four and then duplicate that and then select both of those and duplicate them and then duplicate one and change it and flip it to the to the aft variant duplicate that and then select both of those and duplicate those and bring them over to this side next we'll do uh, your two by two brig and just connect that to the line it up with the back of your three by ones And then grab your Deimos Battle Stations 2x2 two two and connect that on the opposite side. Bring in a Deimos Belly, duplicate it, place it here, select both, duplicate them, and place them here. Now you can just select all four of these and just duplicate them and bring them over here. Okay. So should be looking at something like that. Next, bring in a Shroud Cap A, port four top, duplicate it and flip it, and snap it to this other side. Make sure you're flipping it the right way. And then bring in a Shroud Nose Cap B, and place that right in between your two Shroud Cap A's. And next, you're gonna bring in some Deimos two by ones. Now, anything that you guys want. What I'm using here is I got a workshop, an infirmary, an armory, and a science lab. Okay, you could you could put any any order any way you want these two by twos. It's not going to really affect anything. And then I'm going to bring in two more Deimos all in one three by ones. So I have an all in one three by one here and then I just duplicate it and put it over here. Next, grab a shroud companion way one by one and place it in this little gap. All right. Now for our living quarters, we're going to put our, our two by one living quarters uh, right here on this side. Um, it's at the back of your, of your three by two, leaving a little bit of room in the front. Okay, then bring in, bring in your shroud computer core two by two. And place that on the on the uh, port side, same position. Then bring in a shroud nose cap 2B, and attach that to the front right here. Duplicate that. Place it right here. Duplicate it again. Place it right here. Duplicate it again. Place it right there. Next, bring in some Deimos cowlings and flip it to the aft position. And we're just going to duplicate it and put it next door to it. Duplicate both of these and place them here. And then duplicate all four of these and put them all the way here in the back. Next, grab yourself a shroud mid bracer and place that right here. Duplicate it, fill this gap, select both, duplicate, put them on the opposite side. And that's our second tier completed. For the third tier, bring in a Hope Tech Cap A4 and place that on top of the Cap 2B. And then you could duplicate it 
and change the variant to the mid and place it right behind it and then duplicate that and change the variant to the rear and place that right here. Then you're gonna wanna select all three of these, duplicate them and bring them to the other side and then select both of your cap A's, duplicate them and bring them to the rear and select both of your cap A afts, duplicate those and bring those to the rear. Next, grab yourself a Hope Tech Pipes 4, duplicate it, flip it to the aft position and snap it right here, and then select both of these and duplicate them and bring them to the other side. All right, and that's that. All right, go ahead and bring in another two by one. I'm gonna be using um, another workshop. I know I already have a workshop here, but you know, we got so many halves, it doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just merge our, our grab drives and our shields all together with our fuel tank and the reactor. So we've got reactor, fuel, and a companion layer. All right, so how we're going to do this is just go ahead and uh, duplicate up your companion way, and then grab your two Deimos holes and just kind of put them in a little bit better position to work with. So I'm going to put mine right here. I'm going to duplicate both of those, and I'm going to now put them right here. Now what I want to do is get all of these inside of this. So let me bring one more of these up actually. First thing I'm going to do is just place my shield right there. And I'm just using the Vanguard Bulwark shield. And then we're going to bring in our reactor and attach that to the top two Deimos holes. And then we're just going to duplicate it down twice. So duplicate it once and then select the bottom one and the bottom Deimos hole. And, oh, we have too many modules. So why don't I, I mean, I've, I have everything on the grid already. So I'm going to just delete some parts real quick. I'm just going to delete these so I could just duplicate them in a minute. Now, uh, yeah, select your bottom reactor and your bottom Deimos hole and duplicate down. Now that puts the reactor inside the cap A. And then you can delete these top two reactors. And then go ahead and bring in your grab drive and place that above. Place that above your reactor. Duplicate that down twice. There's once. Select the bottom reactor and the bottom Deimos hole and duplicate them again. Now you can delete the top two re grab drives and these bottom two Deimos holes. And we're gonna do that one more time with our fuel. So let's select our fuel in the bottom Deimos hole and duplicate down. And then select the fuel in the bottom Deimos hole and duplicate down. Now we can delete these top two fuel tanks and all three of these. And now we have this nice little tidy package right here. Next, go ahead and uh, bring in another two by two. I'm using uh, captain's quarters in this in this case. And then bring in another three by one. Uh, 
place that at the back. Oh, wait. Sorry, guys. This does not go here. Let me back up. Let's finish off this top part first. Go ahead and bring in your shroud cap companion way, one, one more of these, and then duplicate that down into your grab drive, and then you could delete this top one. And then grab your two by one captain's quarters and attach that right here. Okay. Now go ahead and grab, what are we using here? We're using two Deimos three by one all in, all in one berths. Go ahead and attach one here, duplicate it and bring it to the other side. And then you could bring in a shroud cowling three LA. Go ahead and duplicate that, flip it and snap it to the other side. And then you could bring in your Chabot cockpit bridge and attach that right here. And then go ahead and delete, or not delete, go ahead and uh, duplicate your shroud nose cap B and duplicate that three times and just place those on the grid and then move them into place here. They should snap in and then just flip it twice and cancel and then just repeat with each of these. Flip twice, cancel. Flip twice, cancel. And that's how that layer is going to look. All right, now I can bring in some engines. And I'm going to bring in and use a Supernova 200, 2200 here, here, and right there. So we're going to bring in a shroud 2x1. I'm using an all-in-one berth. And a Nova engine struts. Then you can bring in a Nova Cowling 1L. And then just uh, duplicate it and flip it to the other side. And then duplicate, change the variant to the PA. And then duplicate that, flip it, and attach that to the other side. Okay. Next, you could bring in. Bring in a shroud companion way and place it at the front of your all-in-one berth and then duplicate that to put one above it. And now you could uh, duplicate your engine and attach that 
right there. Actually, no, you can't. Bring it up one spot, put your engine at the top right there, and then you're going to duplicate it down. And then you can delete the top one. Okay? And I'm going to just go ahead and put in my, my painted one. Alrighty. Almost finished here. All right, so bring out a Deimos belly in the four variant and attach that to the bottom companionway. And then on top of that, you're gonna put a equipment plate or a, a Hope Tech riser B rather. Then you could bring in some Hope Tech Pipes A in the mid. They should snap right here, and you're just going to change the variant to the B, and then change it back and click Cancel. And now we want to duplicate this companion way up, and then attach in a shroud braking engine onto that. And then go ahead and delete this companion way and duplicate the hope pipes and bring one forward. And now we're going to drop this engine, braking engine down. So if you duplicate it, it won't drop down. So you want to select that and a bottom Deimos hole and get a down duplication. And now you can delete this. And then go ahead and bring in an extender port 200 docker top and attach that right here. And now you just want to duplicate three more of these. So there's one, two, three. And then bring in a Hope Tech thruster. Attach that right there in the front. Select both of these, duplicate them up. Swing around to the other side. Select both of those and duplicate them up. Paint these all black on the top. Like that. <clears throat> and that's basically that's basically your build, folks. So all you want to do now is add in your your uh, weapons. Let me go ahead and put back these parts that I removed. Okay, so weapons are up to you. There's a lot of places to mount weapons. What I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to use MKE 9A Gauss guns. I'm going to use Atli 280C missiles. And I'm also going to use uh, Tatsu 501 EM suppressors. Now, this is uh, weapons are completely up to you. Um, the weapons that I had on here were weapons I used while I was ranking up my skills. So most like likely, I was using this Halo Scorpion when I was ranking up my EM weapon skill, so that's why I have two of these. These obviously are probably something you don't normally want. So what you want to do at this point is just decide what weapons you want, and then you can distribute them onto 
your ship accordingly. So in my case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put one gal's gun back here. I'm gonna duplicate that and bring one to the other side. And then I want to bring in a Atlee missile launcher. I'm just gonna attach that right here and duplicate that to the other side. Now for these, I could have three of them and for these, I could have three of them. So right here's my two extras. And then for these, I can only carry two. Now what I wanna do is I wanna put all of these together. I want all four of these on one equipment plate because we're starting to run out of parts we can use on this build. So I don't want to put down a bunch of equipment plates. And I also don't like my weapons all over the place showing everywhere. I like my weapons hidden or at least to be displayed in a, in a, in a way that looks nice with the ship. So I'd rather not have... 12 weapons showing all over the top of this thing. So I'm going to put a Deimos hole right here. And then I'm going to put my equipment plate on top. I'm going to delete the Deimos hole and duplicate the equipment plate down so that it's on top of my landing bay. <clears throat> now I just have to duplicate these and drop them down. So for this one, I want two. I'm gonna put one on the bottom. I'll bring one up to the top. And I'm just gonna duplicate that one down. Now delete this hole and delete this top suppressor. Okay. And now for these, I just have to duplicate them down one time. So let me put my missiles up here. And duplicate it down, delete this hole, delete this missile, and then put my gal's gun up there, and duplicate that down. And now I could delete all of these, this gal's gun, and this equipment plate. And I just gotta put my cap back, so let me duplicate a, a shroud nose cap, snap it into place, flip it twice, cancel. And then at this point, go ahead and just assign your weapons and give your ship a name. I called mine the Sherman. You can call it the Scorpion, Halo Scorpion. Call it a tank. Call it, you know, whatever you want. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. And after that, you should have a blue nominal check mark. And you're good to save this thing. So that's it, folks. The Halo Scorpion inspired Starship in Starfield. I hope that this video helped you out in building this or at least gave you some inspiration for uh, building different Starships. I do have a playlist on my channel. Uh, this is going to be the 17th build in the playlist. So go ahead and check out that playlist if you'd like to see more videos. A couple of them will pop up on the screen here right now. You can check those out. And if you appreciated the video, please, I'd appreciate a like. Thank you very much. We'll catch you on the next one. Until next time, everybody, peace out.